What is a clinical research study? For many of us, being diagnosed with a serious life-changing illness can mean the start of a new stage in life, filled with new doctors, nurses, tests, procedures, treatment regimens and plenty of confusion. And on top of everything else, you may be asked about considering clinical research, clinical trials, clinical study or research study. And that's where we come in. Let's start by explaining what these terms mean. Clinical study, clinical trial and research study mean the same thing. Studies are what doctors create to find out if a potential study drug works and is safe. Some of these potential drugs may be new in development, and other drugs that are being studied in different illnesses may have been around for a while. Every drug from your common painkiller to a leading cancer medicine has been through a clinical study. These studies answer questions like, what side effects does the new drug have? Does it stop or slow down the illness it is designed to treat? Does it work better than current treatments? And can it be given alongside other drugs that are used for the same illness? In each case, the answers must come in the form of scientific data or facts, not the opinions of the doctors, patients or families involved, but the actual results that are collected and monitored during a clinical study. It's important to have patients of every race and ancestry included in studies to better understand how the study drug works in every patient population. All potentially eligible patients are invited to consider a study regardless of race, ancestry, sexual orientation, gender identity or disability status. Diverse representation matters in studies to understand if results differ in different populations. Every study participant receives the same care, the same tests, scans, procedures, study visits and follow-up. Plus, there are always safety procedures in place to monitor the well-being of every patient at every stage of every study. Because of this diligent monitoring, Patients get personalised care from doctors and nurses while in clinical research. Studies are designed to remove bias. Some studies are comparative, meaning that some patients will get the standard treatment plus the study drug, while others will get only the standard treatment plus a placebo. Comparative studies are often done under double-blind conditions. This means that neither the patients nor the doctors know who is getting the study drug or the placebo. A placebo is the substance that looks like the study drug, but contains no active components. If there is no standard treatment approved for an illness, a patient may only get the study drug or the placebo. Patients can be allocated to different treatment groups by a computer. This is called randomization and is done so that each group has a similar mix of patients. Always remember, it is up to you to decide whether a study is right for you. Study participation is voluntary and requires your informed consent or permission from start to finish. And of course, patients have the freedom to leave any study at any time. Not every patient is eligible for a study though. Enrolment is based on meeting certain entry requirements. For example, most studies require that patients are over 18 years old and have moderate to severe illness. If you meet all entry requirements and you decide to participate, your informed consent is required before any study procedures can be done. A well-designed study can help answer whether a drug works and if it is safe, whether the outcome is better or worse than standard therapy, and whether your illness responds to the drug or not. And all studies give researchers and doctors information about what to do next. So, the next time a doctor or a nurse mentions clinical research, hopefully this information has helped you understand what that means. Talk to your doctor or nurse to find out more about the benefits and risks of a clinical study. Ultimately, you decide what is right for you.